Hello, my friends. Are you ready to hear about five books that I found that um, take place mostly in Albania? Four of these are nonfiction. One actually is a fiction. Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, these might be a little different. There's kind of a mix of things. One's like a um, kind of more like a biography um, of one person. One's kind of more of probably a couple of people plus fiction. And so it's just kind of a hodgepodge of different things. So the first book I mentioned, I really, I'm going to mention, I don't really have a lot to say. Uh, the first one is Albanian Folk Tales and Legends. It's by Robert Elsie. I mean, it is what it is. It, it is what it sounds like. It's folk tales. It's legends. It's about their mythology. Um, I, and I just think something like that would be interesting to read about little folk tale stories that are passed down from generation to generation. I would like to collect um, a book of folk tales from each country. I think that'd be fascinating. I have a, just a little teeny one for Ireland. Um, I don't have it nearby. <laughs> I have a little teeny tiny one for, I believe, Ireland. Um, so I think this is going to be kind of similar to that. I don't know how many pages. I don't, anything like that. There's just not a lot of information out there. Um, but it is going to be folk tales and have some of the folk tales that originate from Albania. The second book I will mention is Pran of Albania, and this is by Elizabeth Cleveland Miller. And it mentions two illustrators, Maud Petersham and Miska Petersham. So there are going to be some images in this. This is the fiction, and this is also YA. So Pran lives in the mountains of Albania. She is currently betrothed due to ancient tribal traditions in the area that she is. So we are going to follow her as she lives her life in the mountains, as she is a refugee in um, the barracks of Skodra, S-K-O-D-R-A, Skodra. I might be saying that wrong. So it's also going to follow some of the adventures that she may have during war and in peace as she develops a friendship as she makes a suspicious or strange vow. The synopsis was very big. That's what you get. <laughs> um, that's all I got. But it was enough that make, to make me go, this might be interesting. Let's see where this takes it. I don't know if I will purchase this book, at least to start. This is definitely something that I would try and find from a library or a sample somewhere. I don't know if I'd be able to, but it has intrigued me enough to at least check it out. Number three is Live to Tell. This is by Zeph Plumy. This one is more of a memoir. This follows Zeph in the, I think that was the 1940s. Um, this is a biography. It says it's a, the true story of religious persecution in communist Albania. So you're going to be reading about executions, about imprisonments, about mass banishments, um, tortures. So this is going to be a dark and heavy read. So please be aware of that. I am interested in this. Um, so yeah, so Zeph Plumy um, is one that was definitely persecuted because of his religion. I believe it said he was Catholic, um, but he was arrested and he was brutally tortured. So it kind of talks about what happened to him, how he coped and survived, how he had and hung on to his will to survive and his faith to help him survive. So I thought that would be very interesting to read. Number four I will mention is the second sentence by Fatos Lubanja. And I'm more than likely just slaughtered that name. Um, this is a kind of a, his, it, it's a historical book. Um, this says it's inside the Albanian gulag. G-U-L-A-G, -G, Gulag. Um, again, probably saying that wrong. So this is like a brutal prison camp. Prisoners that are there can be charged more than once for what they're there for, um, whatever they're there for. So this is going to follow a, it comes across as following the life of the prisoners 
as they deal with their punishments of being tried multiple times of their tortures um, as they try to cope and just survive um, I think that would be interesting and heart-wrenching and again a difficult read and the last book I'm going to mention is Albania's Mountain Queen. This is by Edith Durham and the Balkans. This is a history. This takes place in the early 1900s. Edith um, Durham is the one that is referred to as Albanians, Albania's Mountain Queen. This was during a time where women were not expected um, or should not have, have been traveling alone. She does. So she finds the courage to do something on her own that is against what society's rules say should be happening. She ends up in this region in Albania and falls in love with the region. So she ends up staying. She becomes the confidant of the king. She runs a hospital in the area. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I know. It gave a lot more, but I thought I don't want to go into this having read about excerpts from the book or something. So um, another kind of a memoir biography. And I think that one would be interesting following as she confides and gives information to the King, how she shows compassion, hopefully in the hospital. Um, again, she is still referred to as the queen Albania's mountain queen. And so I think it'd be interesting to follow her life. But those are the five books that I found um, that take place in Albania that follow the life of people that have lived in Albania. Um, I think this would be a great way to get to know what life was like and kind of open my eyes to some history in the world that I never learned of growing up. Um, when they did world history, I don't even remember them ever mentioning Albania. But history has never been my strong suit because it's too broad <laughs> of a subject because there's so much to cover. So with this being much more sp specific, I think I will enjoy it so much more um, and be intrigued by a lot of this. And hopefully this will kind of open my eyes to how a lot of people were treated. I know and have an understanding that people were treated very poorly um, throughout the world. And so I think it would just be kind of I don't know if enlightening is the right word, but definitely eye opening. Um, and I think it will be interesting to kind of see what has happened in the past and what's still going on in present day and what we're trying to fight for in present day with like women's rights and religious freedom and um, other people's freedoms, regardless of their gender and their sexuality and all of that. And so it'll be interesting to kind of see you know, read stuff from the past, but I also should be finding something that's more present. Anyway, <laughs> that's that. So again, those are the five books that I found that take place in Albania. Um, I hope maybe you've been intrigued by some of these and I look forward to getting to these. I think these would be really interesting. So until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book and I will talk to you later.